Okay, so now it's time to start sewing the fabric onto the hat. And I have my brim fabric here, and I have the, I need two pieces. I have the top piece and the bottom piece, and I need to match up these markings that I've made. So I wanna put the right size touching. So on, on the side that I see, I should see both of my markings. And I'm gonna line up these lines and pin them so that they match. I'm gonna check them. And once I get them lined up, I'm going to pin through those markings. I'm going to do that all the way around. And then I'm going to sew on this marking. So this marking is going to show me exactly where the finished hat size is. And it is also my stitching line. So I'm only going to stitch on the outer edge of the brim right now. I'll stitch on this outside edge and then I'll flip it inside out. I'll actually trim away some of the seam allowance and then I'll fit it onto this hat uh, and see if the um, brim fabric will fit around the brim. So then when you have a seam like this, you need to do what's called grading. And what I'm gonna do is take one layer of the seam allowance and you're gonna trim it in half. You can go all the way around, just trimming one layer. So you can see what that looks like. And then after you grade it, you need to trim, you need to take notches out of the fabric. So we're gonna do little triangles and you're gonna get pretty close to this stitching line. These scissors aren't working, so I'm gonna try with these scissors again. There. So you get pretty close to the stitching line, but try not to clip it. And the points should be about a half an inch apart. And then once you've graded and clipped away the little notches out of the, the fabric for the seam allowance, you're gonna flip it right side out and then press it along this edge. And that clipping, removing those notches, helps to allow the seam allowance to lay flatter inside the fabric. So I actually decided to take the crown of the hat off of the brim because I realized it would be it's going to be much easier to cover the brim with a fabric if it's not attached to the crown. So I took them apart. So now what I'm going to do is um, cover the brim with fabric. So I have my brim fabric all cut out and sewn. Um, I've clipped the outer edge and cut the notches out. And now I need to clip the inside edge seam allowance. And I'm going to do it about a half an inch apart um, and try to give yourself some distance between where the seam allowance is marked and where the clip goes to. You don't wanna clip it too far because then you'll see that cut line. So um, don't get too close to it. Just make sure you clip it um, maybe an eighth inch away from that line. And then the next thing I'll do is flip it inside out, or right side out now, and um, I'm going to press it on this outer edge with the iron to give a nice crisp line all the way around. Okay, so now for the tricky part. I have to put this fabric around the brim. So I want to manipulate the brim carefully without um, bending the wire or the buckram too much and i'm trying to line it up properly with the front center front and center back and side seams i can adjust it once it's in but i want to get it close and you see this last part is really the hard part 
So I'm gonna try my best not to bend it. There, that's pretty good. And then I need to line up my markings for center back. And it's a little off right now by a couple inches, so I need to adjust it. Just to try to work its way around till it gets um, in the right spot. Okay, so I have the um, brim covered. I kind of had to work around um, the wire, make sure I fixed anything that got bent. And now what I'm gonna do is take the crown and I wanna match up the back, the center front, the sides. And I'm gonna place it on top of the brim. And what I need to do is pin it together where all of those markings match. And then I'm gonna need to baste around this edge of the hat going through the crown on the outside so that um, the two pieces are stitched together. And while I'm doing that, I'm going to also pull the fabric tight across the brim. So if you're having trouble doing that, you can base this fabric onto the brim first and then you can attach it onto the crown. Okay, so now that this hat is attached, um, you can see the um, stitching on the inside. I used a back stitch for this and that makes it a little stronger and um, more stable. So now what I'm gonna do is take the tip of the hat and I do wanna line up the center back and I know that I have a seam allowance of a half an inch that's gonna go over the edge of it, okay? And what I wanna do is Pin it on and then I'm going to baste it through the sideband onto the hat and then I'll finish everything off with the fabric of the sideband and that'll hide all my stitching. So right now what I'm going to do is just line up um, my center back and my center front and I can pin right through the flannel, it'll hold it on. And you see how I kind of divide it? I don't start on one side and go in a circle. If I did that, then the fabric would probably be uneven and pulled kind of funny. So I, I start by quartering it and then going between those quarters. So now I think I have enough pins and I can start stitching this on through the sideband. Okay, so the tip is sewn on. It's just basted on, but it's um, all the way around and you can see it's secure. Um, now I'm gonna take the center front and I'm gonna take my side band. So with the side band, I've, I've pressed it at the seam allowance so you can see my markings and I'm gonna match it up with the hat and wrap it around the side band. So I'm gonna center, match the center front and I'll pin it. Oops. And what I'm trying to do is line up the, the edge at the top to make sure it's flush with the tip. Okay, so you can, you can kind of see that. And I'm gonna just work my way around the hat and pull, I'm gonna pull it tight as I wrap it around. Okay, so I'll go to the other side. Not too tight, but tight enough. Okay, and then I'll match that side seam. And then I'm gonna wrap around to the back. And I may or may not have extra fabric. This is why I give myself a big seam allowance 
for the center back because it may adjust as you've layered and put these um, fabrics onto the buckram base, it might shrink the side band, make it make the fabric smaller. So you can see my seam is over, marked over here, but this is my center back, so it doesn't quite match. But I have enough seam allowance that I can kind of fake it. So I'm gonna pin this piece under first. And then this over piece, I'll fold back at the center back. And I may trim some of this off because I don't need all of it. Okay, and then I'm gonna fold it in the center back and I'll stitch that together at some point. For now, what I'm gonna do is stitch the lower edge of this sideband to the hat. And I wanna make sure I cover any of the flannel that might show through. And I wanna do a stitch that's gonna be nearly invisible. So something like a slip stitch would be perfect because you won't really see it from the outside. And if, if I see it on the inside, it's okay, as long as it's lower than where this curve of the brim is, because I need to place the lining over any stitching that I have. It'll hide it all. But um, I need to make sure I don't do it too high, otherwise those stitches will show. So I'm gonna try to use um, a burgundy fabric, like my burgundy thread, like my fabric, so that it disappears on this outside. And I'm gonna go around the bottom edge first. Okay, so I'm gonna start by sewing in the center back, as always, and um, my thread is the same color as my fabric, so it's gonna be hard to see. But what I wanna do is have kind of like a prick stitch, so I only have a little bit of thread showing on the outside, and there'll be a larger stitch on the inside. And I'm just going right at the base of the fabric and trying to grab a little bit of fabric as I go. And I'm stitching about a half an inch every, every stitch. And you might find that that's not enough. You can do more. And I'm trying to work this fabric underneath this edge here as I go. So it kind of disappears once I'm done. But this, this edge will most likely have um, a ribbon covering it, so I'm not too worried about it looking perfect. Um, the edge I want to look perfect is up here at the top. Okay, so this bottom edge is stitched on. And uh, now I'm gonna do a slip stitch around the top edge, and I'm gonna start from the inside and come try to come out right where the fold of the top piece of fabric is. And a little tip for you, if you want to have your hat look nice, um, don't choose a shiny fabric like I did because then you have to be really extra careful and make it look really nice. Every little bump is gonna show. So I would suggest trying to use something that's not quite as shiny, if you're, especially if you're a beginner, but it's just, it's just hard to make look nice in general, so. So here I'm doing a slip stitch. So I'm just grabbing a little bit of this tip fabric and pulling, and then wherever it comes out from the tip, I'm gonna go straight over into the fold of the side band. And this just creates almost like a machine stitch, except it's by hand and it's invisible. So we've gone all the way around and it has the slip stitch. Now I need to finish this last seam across the back and I'm gonna go from this top down to create the slip stitch to finish off this seam. Okay, so now that this is finished, everything's stitched, 
the only thing that's not finished is the inside. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually decorate the hat first so that I can tack some of the trims through the hat. And then when I'm finished decorating it, I'll add the lining to kind of disguise all the stitches that, um, that we see. And I'll show you that in the next video.